Well, if Rishi Sunak is going down, it appears he plans to take construction with him. We will grant you key worker status so you can keep the wheels of industry turning in the midst of a pandemic, they said. The construction industry will lead us out of the post-COVID recession, they said. Construction will play a pivotal role in the levelling up of the nation, they said. And now it looks highly likely that the government will throw the industry under an oncoming train by not seeing the HS2 project through to fruition. It was bad enough when former Prime Minister Boris Johnson axed the Leeds leg of the proposed rail line. But now it appears that his former Chancellor and our current Prime Minister will repeat the trick by pulling the plug on the Birmingham to Manchester portion as well. They will render HS2 a massive white elephant that will have accomplished nothing aside from spunking great gobs of cash, ripping up the countryside for no good reason and leaving many in the construction sector to lick their wounds. What happens to all those companies that were set to be part of the Birmingham to Manchester build programme? What happens to all those workers that were set to be part of the construction? What becomes of all the apprentices that were lured into the sector with a dream of being part of an historic project, only to have that dream snatched away at the last moment? If, as Sky News is reporting, the final part of HS2 is to be scrapped, it will be the final nail in the coffin of the Leveling Up initiative. It could be the final nail in Rishi Sunak's leadership. It also demonstrates a catastrophic lack of foresight, ambition and fortitude within the UK government. None of which actually matters in the grand scheme of things, but its impact upon the UK construction industry and those working within it could be devastating. We can only hope that Sky News has got it wrong or that Rishi Sunak senses the mood in Manchester and steps back from the brink.